today you've been learning about authoring case finishing and um, of course at the end of the treatment uh, we always do an occlusal adjustment for our patients. Uh, we also are finding it hard as orthodontists to convince patients to come back every year or every six months for a retina check. You, know, you as general dentists um, find that easy because they come back for a scale and clean so you link it with that. For someone to visit the orthodontist purely to get their retainer check, I know what people used to say, what, I have to pay for that? It took like three seconds to tighten my retainer and he looked in the mouth and said, the wire's not debonded. Yeah. They don't see the value in it. Now they do because we offer them, uh, uh, I call it an orthodontic checkup, tune up, blah, 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 right? And um, the, for many years we have had a, another system which also works well. Um, but it's, it's not as portable as, as this. So there's a couple of systems um, on the market. But I think everyone's heard of the company Bosch uh, as far as articulating paper. They have literally cut their teeth um, on that reputation. And um, they've been around uh, since uh, 1953. And um, they started with the basic articulating paper. I think it's about every dentist in the world was using. And then, of course, as things... Uh, develop, they came to different thicknesses for different types of dentistry, you know, um, precision dentistry, implants, crown, over implants, etc, etc. But even that company would admit that depending on how much saliva is in the mouth, right, you can get kind of contacts everywhere. It's not as accurate as you think, regardless of what uh, grade, etc. So, you know, we're faced with the problem of trying to explain to a patient that now, a patient doesn't see that, do they, you know, unless you take a photo. And even then they say, well, well what does the red mean and how come they don't get it? But if you use the same articulating paper, but effectively you put it uh, in an electronic wafer, um, uh, then it makes a big difference. So this little video shows you what you are currently doing, you know, uh, um, and... Um, it is better than nothing. And this is definitely what you should be doing when you finish an orthodontic case, right? You definitely need to do some form of clusal adjustment. I quoted that paper yesterday on all the actual benefits um, uh, in the mastication uh, and in neural patterns, etc. the paper from Japan, when it comes to having balanced uh, uh, occlusion. Uh, so, uh, so that is nothing new, and that's what we did for many, many years, right? So now, fast forward to uh, where we currently are, and it's the ability for that information to be um, put into a software so the patient can see how heavy the contact was, you can see where the first contact is, uh, and then you can do a much uh, better adjustment. And uh, I used it as an orthodontist, but it's even probably more crucial for you guys when it comes to um, partial or full denture cases, uh, Crown and Bridge, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, so this is the system, and this is version two. We did a trial of version one, and they, they had some uh, uh, teething uh, uh, errors, and they withdrew it off the market. Uh, you know, German companies, as you well know, are very big on R&D. They don't just release stuff on the market and then see if it works or not, right? Like if you, if you go to the German manufacturing uh, exhibition every two years um, in Cologne, uh, you, you really see that the domination in the uh, dental industry of high-end products uh, that, are, that are German. So um, so now it's a much better experience for the patient. You know, rather than be back in the chair and you tap, 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 and I was trying to explain things, I can sit them down at their end of treatment um, appointment. And I can say, look, I hope you're happy with your teeth. They look outstanding. But do you know your bite's important as well? And now I want to show you how even your bite is, blah, blah, blah. And Mrs. Jones, I'd like Johnny to come back at least once a year so I can continue to check that his bite hasn't changed. Now, you can link this in with other sorts of technologies um, uh, such as artificial intelligence, which allows a patient to take a photo at home and check whether their teeth have actually moved or not. Uh, and those are all the bigger line the companies are now doing. There's a company in France um, and it's called Dental Monitoring, and effectively they can do the retainer checks for you to see if the teeth are stable, but they can't do the occlusal adjustment for you. So it's called Occlusal Sense, and um, 
basically it's very quick and easy. We get the patient in, uh, they tap on that disposable wafer. Now you can use that wafer a couple of times for the same patient, right? <laughs> um, and um, uh, you put it in the file and then check it out. The only, I guess, thing that I have to find is I'm not an Apple person, but to use this you need to, it's only compatible with an iPad. That's not the end of the world. We certainly um, got iPads in for this uh, particular um, uh, reason. Uh, so that's the kit. So it's handheld. You can take it from chair to chair. Uh, it's got a charging uh, station and um, uh, they give you, they're the sensors as you can, you can see here. Uh, and you get in the first kit 25 and then you can just buy the sensors to, uh, uh, to uh, replace. Um, not rocket science uh, on um, how, to, how to use it and the data uh, is transferred uh, through wireless technology. So it's pretty um, easy uh, to, to, to use. So it's a 60 micron film uh, and it's color coded so you can still see the marks um, in, in the mouth. Uh, you um, you get different sizes because sometimes you're only going to have an adult or pedo size. So in the patient view, which you can manage on that pad, uh, you've got the patient data. You can put the corresponding images into that uh, data. You can look at previous recordings and you can bring up the two side by side. So you can say, Mrs. Jones, in the last year, I noticed your bite has got worse or got better or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. This is golden um, for communication to um, uh, to patients. So all those recordings are basically um, airdropped or exported uh, in a PDF file. Uh, and um, so to summarize, it's a thin flexible material, it's color coded. You use it just like our technique paper, so you don't have to go and do a one day course or anything on that. Uh, and um, cost wise, compared to the competitor on the market, very good. You know, you're looking at about um, 2,500. Uh, for that with everything that you need. So, you know, just summarizing those points um, again. And the distributor here, I know very well, his uh, name is uh, Milan Rajic. He's been the Bosch distributor for, for many years. So if you want a trial on this, maybe come out to your practice to show you how to use it. Uh, his email will come up and um, I think his email is going to come up now. That's just showing you when we talk about finishing, orthodontists are always big on static occlusion. You know, does a plaster fit? Well, in the real world, you want to have canine guidance and things. This will show you that and show you where your prematurity is if you need to uh, adjust it. I use it basically for the orthodontic checkup, but I also do a lot of TMD. So when it comes to split therapy, I think um, it's a rather useful um, application. Okay, so <coughs> contact details, that's, it's, if you've got an iPad, it's compatible with all of those. I didn't have an iPad, and that sounds pretty uh, <laughs> uh, old school, but that's the only difference that we had to do to use it. That's the uh, email for Milan. If you want him to come out and you want to just give him a trial, that's the contact details. Any questions on that? All good? Perfect.